Tai Ji Quan legend says was started centuries ago by a Taoist priest named Zhang Zhenfeng. One day, while studying, he heard loud noises. As he looked outside the window, he saw a large bird and a snake fighting. Although the bird tried many times circling down to attack, the snake would yield and caused the bird to redirect the attack and miss its strikes. Taoist Zhang was inspired by their movements. He combined these movements from nature with the principles of Tai Ji and Yin Yang. He created the basic forms of Tai Ji Quan. The historical roots of the Dong family's Tai Ji Quan can be traced back hundreds of years. Master Yang Chen Fu was the great teacher of the 20th century. Until his time, teachers would only train a handful of selected students, usually family members. Yang Chen Fu taught large numbers of people, many of whom would not have otherwise had access to martial arts training. A consummate martial artist, he recognized the health benefits of Tai Chi Chuan practice. He developed the training sequences and the techniques that are used to teach Tai Ji Quan today. Master Li Xiangyuan was a student of the Wu School, named for by Master Wu Yuxiang. Master Li taught a Tai Ji form called Kai He Tai Ji Quan, open close Tai Ji Quan. Even though the style is not as prominent today as the Yang style, its influence is still important. The Dong family has preserved and has continued to transmit all of its accumulated knowledge. They have done much to spread Tai Ji Quan around the world. Master Dong Ying Jie, the first Dong master, was a principal student of Master Yang for 17 years. He was well known for his martial prowess and was the author of Tai Ji Quan Explained one of the definitive books on Tai Ji Quan. Master Dong passed on his art to his son, Dong Huling. Master Dong Huling moved from China and introduced Tai Ji Quan to Thailand and Singapore. An expert at push hands, he was known for low and powerful Tai Ji. Dong Huling's son, Dong Ji Yin, in Cantonese is Dong Gai Yin, began learning Tai Chi from his grandfather at age six. Master Dong Ji Ying started teaching independently at age 17. Today, his home and main school are in Los Angeles. He travels regularly to teach in more than a dozen cities. He makes several trips each year to Europe and Asia. Hundreds of his current and former students are now teachers.